Sea levels have risen and fallen, even in recent times, and how much they have. Most people don't realize, you know, we talk about, uh, oh, sea levels have risen. Uh, if they rise another foot and a half, we're going to have all of the, you know, New York City is going to be underwater. The Maldives are going to be underwater. You know, it's going to create a great catastrophe. Look at it this way. The sea levels have risen in the last century about eight inches which is about the same as they rose the century before that. And at the current rates of sea level rise, it may be a couple of inches more than that, but I think projecting current rates of sea level rise, we're not getting into some of the earlier scare stories that we were being bombarded with back 20 and 30 years ago that, oh my God, sea level's gonna rise four or five or six feet by the end of the, the century and so on. We've seen no indication that anything is gonna attain that rate of, of sea level rise. For one thing, because we don't have catastrophically melting six to seven million cubic miles of catastrophically melting glacial ice. We don't have that. In fact, it's even questionable how much actually has been lost from the two great reservoirs of glacial ice on the planet, Greenland and Antarctica. And consider the consequences for what would happen again today if ancient tsunami that may have been at least 600 feet in its run-up heights uh, in the recent past.